Giddy up, us! Just cop a load of that for a view. Is that one of the best views you've ever seen, or what? That is just unreal. I actually feel a bit like a cowboy on uh, one of these horses. Yeah, like a rhinestone cowboy. Do do do. Do, 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 do. People you don't even know, and I don't know any more words. So there's not more I can say on that one. At the bottom of the Four Girls Mountain, and I'm going to take a horse into the mountain, and for the whole trip it's 400. So I'm going to buy my ticket here, and then I'm going to go into the mountain. I've got my gloves, these were 10 yuan, because it's a lot colder up there, so I need to get my gloves to, to, to go up there. So, and, uh, Iha, Iga, Serbai. I reckon they make quite a bit of money here, because 400 is quite a lot of money. Got my ticket. I'm ready to go, horseback riding. Uh -huh, let's go. Got my drone to get some cool footage, if there's some cool footage to take. This is my horse here, right? Is this my horse? What? Yeah. Okay, so this is my horse here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm on. Off we go, trekking into the mountains. Da da da, giddy up us. This is uh, right in the wilderness. Now if Ollie was here, I'm sure Ollie would fly the drone up that river. But as I've lost one already, and I don't want to lose another one, I'm not going to attempt it. See some uh, local people just here. Not quite sure what they're doing there. Right, apologies for the, uh, the shakiness of the camera, but I am on the back of a horse. This is probably the locals' cattle uh, grazing in the field there. This is a local's house, look at that. And uh, interestingly, if you just look he here, there's a, a radio mass, so I guess they can get good coverage on their phones and internet from here. That's kind of interesting to see, but this is really kind of traditional style housing. I think we're currently at about three and a half thousand metres, and we may go up to as much as uh, 4,000 metres, but it's just such a lovely feeling. It's so tranquil. You can hear the water from the waterfall. Um, the air is amazingly clear. You know, I've, I've had a blocked nose for the last two or three days, and although it's not absolutely clear, it's improving as we go on. And, uh, you know, this is just amazing. It's the first time I've ever been here, and uh, it's, it's a bit wow. Just look at that, what a spectacular waterfall that is, just flowing down the side of the mountain. I wonder how many um, litres of water per minute that's, that's moving, but I bet it's a lot. Because there's a guy on a motorbike just coming past. He's on a, he's on a motorbike and uh, got a lovely little stream here. Look at that, that's amazing. As you saw, the fee for this was 400. I did try to barter them down a bit, but they weren't having it. I did try to get them to do 350, but they were having none of it. So, uh, But I paid the 400 because I think, I think the guy's going to work hard. The guy actually walks up here. Um, he's not on a horse, so I'm on the horse, so I get the easy job. And he's having to um, walk all the way to lead the horse, which is, uh, it must be pretty fit. Because as I said earlier, it's not that easy to um, breathe in this higher altitude. I think we're probably at anywhere between sort of three and a half and 3,700 metres now. Fortunately, I don't have an altimeter with me, but um, I suspect we're at that sort of level, so the oxygen's a lot thinner in the air here trees there's these sort of red tags and i've no idea what they are so i'm not going to ask but if you do know just um pop that down in the comments and uh, maybe somebody knows i've got to say this is some of the most stunning forest i've ever seen it is absolutely untouched by by mankind it's like a tree falls and it's just left it's absolutely like, like here look 
this tree's fell and it's just completely left. And I've never kind of experienced this much before in many forests in the UK. When their trees fall, they clear them all. They clear them all out. But this is just absolutely spectacular. And the only thing I can say right now is I'm glad I'm on the horse because I think if I had to try to walk it, I'd be absolutely shattered because it's, as I say, it is a lot harder to breathe in these higher altitudes. And I, I do suffer with asthma. That's not an excuse, but I would find it a bit more difficult than... Um, if I didn't have asthma, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super glad I decided to go with a horse. I've never experienced anything like this before. It is just absolutely stunning. The scenery, the forestry, the mountains. Man, this is Sichuan. Hey, Niha, 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 Niha. Jigga Pialian. So, uh, there's some people on the way back down. I'm still on my way back up. My horse is still doing good. I'm surprised he hasn't wanted a drink of water yet, but uh, he doesn't seem to have wanted one. As you can see here again, look, you can walk right the way up the top here. God knows how long it'd take you to walk. Just look at how good's that. So we're getting further and further up the mountain now, and I can feel it's getting noticeably colder. My legs are quite cold. Luckily, I've put like two t-shirts, a jumper, a hoodie, and I've got this uh, rain, sort of thin rain jacket on top. So my body's nice and warm, but my legs are getting a bit cold now. Some massive rock here that's obviously fell down um, the mountain at some point. And as I said before, nothing is touched. Everything is just left where it's fell, and it's absolutely incredible. You know, nothing is moved, nothing is touched. It's just amazing. It's just so natural, man. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the uh, foresty area by the looks of it, but the, the landscape has changed quite significantly here. Look, there's a lot of rock. Uh, there's still a lot of tall, straight trees, but there's kind of a lot of rock and sand here. Uh, where this has come from, I've no idea. Maybe it's all come falling down the mountain at some point, but... Um, interesting to see that there's quite a, a, a very different kind of terrain here than there was just a few minutes ago. So this looks like it's the end of the road as far as the horse goes. But this is just absolutely spectacular. Look at this. It's absolutely amazing. So my horseman's going to have a, a squirt. My horse is waiting for me here. You want to be making sure you subscribe to this Barrett channel because we bring you the footage that nobody else does. Oh, we're crossing a bit of a stream at the moment. Look at that. Of course, good job I'm on this horse. My feet will be soaking wet because today I've got my leaning trainers on again. Look, I did say when we arrived at that last place that it was the end of the road as far as the horses go, but I don't actually think that's the case because it seems we're going even further and deeper into these mountains. So uh, I'll keep you updated where we end up. These horses must be strong, man. Because to get up here, it's just like, it would be really difficult, man. Whoa. We're really in some big rocks now. Man. Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Because literally, we, we're like, we're going over some serious rough ground here. These horses are just unbelievable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at the terrain, man. It's like, what the hell? Oh, holy moly. Look at this. Holy shit. They're literally clambering across these massive rocks. Look. Holy cow. I don't know what to say. That, that was kind of scary a little bit. Those horses are just unbelievable. They must be so strong. It's not only me on top. I've got a big backpack on my back full of gear. And yet they had no problem doing that. Whoa. Respect, man. I've got respect for those horses. 
just look at the face of that mountain up there. Holy moly. Imagine if a rock come down there. It'd it kill you if it hit you, man. So far, this is one of the most insane experiences I've ever done. It's really, really amazing. Is that one of the best views you've ever seen or what? That is just unreal. Holy moly. This is spectacular. And look at this lovely, slow flowing water here. How amazing is that? I bet that will be no problem to drink that water. Feel like Julie Andrews from The Sound of Music. So if you got this far in the video, write in the comments, Julie Andrews, and I'll know you got here. Thank you very much. Seriously, what could be better than sitting in a location like this in the sunshine, eating cherries? I was freshly picked off the tree yesterday. You just can't beat it, can you? Ah, oh, my horse wants a drink of water. So uh, we're stopping so, so uh, Neddy here can have a drink. And then we're off again. I actually feel a bit like a cowboy on uh, one of these horses. Yeah! Hey, we got everybody here. And uh, I don't really know much about Western movies. I only know Clint Eastwood. My dad will know a lot though, because he loves Western movies. He's watched some of them about 10 times, but he still loves them. And uh, the, only, the only phrase I know out of a movie to do with cowboys is, get off your horse and drink your milk. I also know um, a little bit of a, a Western song, because when I was growing up, my dad and my mom I used to play country and western music all the time. But I remember one of the bits. Like a rhinestone cowboy. Do do do. Do 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 do. People you don't even know. And I don't know any more words. So there's not more I can say on that one. But um, yeah. So uh, you know any cowboy movies? Are you a fan of western movies? Let us know in those comments. Right, so I've stopped and got off the horse for a few minutes because my back, my legs and my groin are killing. My neck and my back are really sore. I've got my backpack on. The horse is up and down and up and down. That's really tiring, man. I didn't think it would be this tiring, but it is. These guys that walk with you, they're like dynamos. They don't stop. We're on a horse and I find finding that quite tiring. And they walk it. It's just amazing, man. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for taking me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. My trusty horse, Palban. So, back at the start. That was very difficult and I'm super tired because I was up at 4 a.m. However, that was absolutely a magical experience. I'm glad I did it. And if you come to this part of the world, you make sure you do it too. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, hit that subscribe button. But as always, for now, take care.